Hey guys, um, so it is Appreciation Week. Um, we've talked about teachers, we've talked about cafeteria workers, we've talked about custodians. Um, when we talked about heroes, I kind of mentioned um, like the traditional heroes in our communities, right? Um, people like firefighters, policemen, so on. Um, you could give stuff to grocery store workers right now, whoever you want to appreciate. Um, but Sunday is Mother's Day, and I think mothers are someone we definitely need to appreciate. Um, we're going to be making some paper flowers. You don't have to do this for your mother. You can do it for anyone else you want to appreciate, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you have construction paper, that is the best option for these. Um, I don't. So what I did is I colored a paper green. I went ahead, left one white, and then I colored one, um, this pinkish color. So the way this will work is we'll be cutting out different shapes um, to make different flowers. Now, um, you can change these up um, however you want. I've started a few to give you an idea about how it works, um, but I'll show you here. So if you need to color or paint paper so you have colored paper, um, go ahead and do that. And then when you're ready, come back. Um, but if you already have construction paper, that makes this easy. Um, so the first one we're going to do uh, is going to be one like this. Um, this is a pretty simple one. Um, and you could add more to it. Um, you could leave them more up. It's kind of your choice. Um, when we're done with these paper flowers, you can choose to like kind of uh, add like stems if you have um like little sticks or chanel stems or pipe cleaners you could do that or we could you could glue them onto um a paper so you will need paper scissors um and glue so once again first one's going to be pretty simple so i'm just going to cut off a big strip from my paper um, then I'm going to cut slits all the way across. I'm not going to cut them all the way off. So I will cut, but see how I left um, that little part right there? That's what you need to do for all of them. So I'm just going to do that all the way across. You can make these as thin or as wide as you want. Just make sure to leave a little bit at the end so they stay connected. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to roll this up. And um, if you want to color both sides of the paper, so that way both sides are colored, you could do that. In this case, my color is going to be on the outside, okay? So on the inside, there's not color. You could always fold it the opposite or roll it up the opposite way, and then your color would be on the inside. So kind of your choice. So I'm going to re-roll that back up. And then you're going to glue it together. I'm going to use hot glue because that's the only glue I can find. And it dries um, relatively quick. But uh, school glue works just fine. So with stick glue, um, you just have to get a little bit longer to dry so it's sturdy. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right here and push that down. Give it just a moment to dry. And then what you'll do is you'll go around and you'll pull down these um, papers as far as you want them. You kind of have to force them a little bit. Um, you don't have to pull down all of them. You don't have to pull down any of them. If you like it, how it looks rolled up completely, leave it rolled up completely. Um, but otherwise, just kind of pull these papers down. Okay, as much as you want to make um, this kind of poofy flower. You can do a bunch of layers so it's even poofier. You could cut thinner, you could cut thicker, um, but that's kind of how that one's done. Next one we're going to do, uh, you're going to start with a circle for the base. 
Um, if you're gluing this onto another piece of paper, <clears throat> then you don't have to worry about that. But if you're not, just go ahead and cut you a little circle. It's okay if it's not perfect because it's going to be underneath. Definitely not perfect. And then you'll cut small strips. So this is this one. You're going to cut small strips. You just need strips. So I'm going to do long strips and just cut them in half. And once again, how thin or thick is up to you. Just try to keep them all about the same. It's okay if they're off a little bit, but don't have some that are really huge and some that are teeny tiny. Okay, so I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half. Or actually, I'm gonna leave them long. I think it might be easier if we leave them long. So you're gonna start with the circle. And I'm gonna put glue right in the middle of that circle. Okay, and then I'm going to put one of these strips and I'm going to put the color side down. If you have color on both sides or you're using construction paper, it doesn't matter, put color side down and I'm going to get try to get right in the middle of that paper. So there's the two ends, so right around the middle is going to go right on that glue. Push it down, give it a moment to dry. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and add these other ones right on top of it. Um, and they're going to kind of go at angles. So I'm going to start with like a plus sign and then I'll do an X over it. <clears throat> that and then one across like a plus. One across diagonal. So we want this like a X now, and then I have one more. I might have to add a little more glue. We'll see, push them down and maybe that'll hold them good. Okay, so it's kind of like this asterisk star shape. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each one of those papers and you're gonna fold them up and over and then glue them back in the same spot. So like this, glue back down, okay? Add more glue. That was probably too much glue. And once again, regular glue works, you guys. So just give it time to dry. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to do that to all of them. I'm just going to fold them up and down into the glue. You might have to put glue at each layer, but I put quite a bit. So I'm just going to kind of push them into it and hope that it works. And you can add as many little strips of paper as you want. So this was, wait, one, two, uh, actually mine was only four. So one, two, three, four. So four long strips. You could do eight little strips. Um, you could do more or less, however many petals you want it to look like it has. Last one, push it down. And so that's that flower. Um, and then at the end, uh, if you want to add another circle right here in the middle, you could do a different color. Um, you could add a circle in that way. There's like the middle of the flower right there. So I'm gonna cut a circle out of some scrap paper. Once again, it's okay if it's not perfect. Just, just to help it look. Ready? So I'm just a tiny bit more glue there in the middle. And then put down that circle to be the middle of the flower. Okay, so there's, there's that flower. Um, so there's how you do that one. Now I started another one and it was going to be like a rose. So it looks like this so far, I haven't got very far. So what I did first was cut a wavy paper. So I cut a strip and then I cut wavy. So you'll just cut kind of back and forth wiggly to make a wavy line. Okay. So after you cut that wavy line, you're going to take that piece of paper and you're going to roll it up. Kind of same as we did with the last one, or not the last one, the first one. 
You're gonna roll it up so the color is on the outside if you only colored one side of your paper. And then you're gonna glue that little flap down again. It's just in a little roll and that's gonna be the center. So you're gonna set that to the side and let it dry. And then you're going to cut some petals from your paper. Uh, you can do this kind of however you want. Um, they just need to be curved, almost kind of like a U shape or like a rainbow shape, if you flip it the other way. Um, I'm just gonna start right here and I'm just gonna curve and then out, off, curve, let it fall. And you can do as many as you want. Um, you want to kind of start getting a little bit bigger. So then after this is done drying, you're going to start to glue the petals around the edge like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your petals and kind of spread them out so you can see them all. And you're going to fold them in half. Okay. So it has a crease and then go ahead and open it back up. Fold it in half. And you could do these whichever direction you want. Um, I'm gonna switch them up and then we can kind of see which looks better. So maybe it'll help you decide how you want yours. Okay, so then you're going to take these and you're going to start to glue them around this. And because they're folded, you can kind of put them at an angle and they'll stay and they'll kind of stick out from that flower. So, tiny bit of glue to the side of the roll. Tiny bit of glue right there. And then I'm going to put this folded paper right over it. And we do want it to kind of stick out a little. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I'll move to the other side now. I'm gonna drop. The petal. And if you're using regular glue, please allow more time to dry. I'm gonna do this kind of fast because it is hot glue and because I don't wanna take forever making this video. Or I don't want you to have to wash it forever. because it is hot glue, I can't hold it very well. So that's the plus of not using hot glue is you don't have to worry about burning yourself, right? So you could just add more glue on there if you need more glue without worrying, without having to worry about holding it. That's my dilemma is I have to kind of hold it in place, but then it's hot and I don't wanna burn myself. So you could see where they were folded. So it creates like these nice points. Um, so right now it's just like a tiny one, which is cute. You could add as many petals as you want though. So I'm not going to do a video tomorrow guys. Um, Instead, I'm going to show the art show I created. So I made us a digital art show since we didn't get to do our regular art show this year. Um, and I did that, um, it's kind of like a slideshow. So your teacher should be sending you the Zoom information. Um, if you wanna get on just to say hi, I would love to just say hi to some of you because I'm gonna see you guys in a long time. Um, so, <clears throat> If you want to just hop on to say hi and then get back off, that's fine. Um, but if you want to hang around after a little bit, I will play the art show and you can kind of see um, the artwork that you and other students made. I did make it on Art Sonia, and so I could, it only let me use the artwork that um, your parents have already given permission. So if your parents have set your profile to public, 
then your artwork will be in it if and if I had pictures. So we didn't get to take pictures of all our artwork at school to add on to our Sonia. Um, <clears throat> but if you had artwork on our Sonia and your parents had your profile set to public, then you are in that art show slideshow. Um, it's about half of the students who are in it. Um, I wish we could have had everyone, but it, once again, it wouldn't let me use any artwork from students who are set to private um, because their parents haven't given permission, which is fine um, given the circumstances because who would have known. Hopefully next year this won't happen and we'll be able to have a regular art show. All right, so I'm gonna add one more petal because um, that's all the ones I cut, but you could add as many as you want um, to make this flower, this like rose type flower as full as you want, okay? Or as big as you want. One more here. Okay, so there's, there's that one. Um, so I'm gonna let that finish drying. So we've, we've done three flowers. Um, another way you can do this, right, the simplest way is just to cut a flower. So you would draw it first. And if you colored your paper, I would recommend drawing on the side that you didn't color. Either way, you're just gonna cut out around those petals. And once again, these flowers can be used for whatever you want. If you wanna to try to turn them into like a little bouquet, you can turn them into a little bouquet. You wanna glue them onto a card for your mom, glue them onto a card for your mom. However you want to use them, use them. It's just a few ways to make paper flowers. There are a bunch of other ways to make paper flowers, so you could play around with it. Maybe you could make some other ones. Okay, so that kind of lined up a little small. Um, but so then that gives us the shape. You could fold these if you want to fold these. So I'm just kind of putting my finger in the middle and then pinching them up. Um, and that just helps it make, helps it be a little more 3D. Then you could cut out a circle to kind of go in the middle if you wanted to do that. And then there's another flower. So there's a bunch of ways that you can do these. And then once again, once you have your flowers, you can kind of decide how you want to use them. Um, you might want to glue them onto a paper. You might want to turn them into a bouquet. I've already given you plenty of ideas. The last thing I would add though, if I were you, um, is some leaves. So that's why I colored some green paper. So leaves are kind of like a football shape. They're like pointed on both ends um, and round in the middle. So you can draw some of those. Um, big, small, and I'm going to draw on the back of the paper I colored green. Um, you could do round leaves if you want to do round leaves. You could do huge ones. You could do tiny ones. However you want to do it, just keep in mind if they're too small, they might be hard to cut out. Um, and then you can When you glue these on the paper, if you're gluing these on the paper or if you're gonna use them for a bouquet, you can glue the leaves to the back. Um, if you wanna make the leaves more 3D, you can fold them the same way we did the petals. So kind of in half. And then that makes a nice kind of 3D looking leaf. If you want to, you could uh, kind of glue them around. So maybe I'll use a smaller one. Around the edge. Um, or you could always wrap green paper around the bottom of like the rose one um, or this little fluffy guy we made first. You could cut strips um, and use those as like stems if you were doing it on, um, green doesn't go all the way to it. So I'm gonna cut a piece not to use and then cut another piece to use. So you could cut so if this white paper was where I was going to glue everything, then I could have a stem, and that's really kind of hard to see, so you guys will just have to believe me. There's a stem there. 
Um, and then you could kind of glue these in place where you want them after. Um, that is really hard to see. Um, you can kind of see it. Construction paper would be better or color darker. My color pencils are not that great. They color pretty light, um, but you could color darker. You could also um, kind of roll up that green paper. So I'm just gonna cut off a, a big piece and then I'm going to just roll it up around a pencil. I'm gonna start with a pencil. I think that will make it easier. And then I can pull the pencil out. So I'm gonna just kind of push it around my pencil and then push it under, roll. I'm gonna say that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the rest. I don't think I'll need this whole piece. Pull it all the way to the end. And then, what? <laughs> Take out the pencil. Um, you could use these as stems. Just glue them together and then you could glue your flowers on top and then add on your leaves. So just however you want to um, kind of combine these, go for it, have fun, um, make something for someone you appreciate. Mom, if you need something for Mother's Day, once again tomorrow, no Zoom, um, or yes, Zoom, no video. So I won't be posting a video to YouTube, but I will be doing a Zoom um, drop by, say hi, or, um, yeah, drop by, say hi, and then if you want to hang out, I will show you our art show. Um, if you can't stay for the art show, you just want to stop in and say hi for a few minutes, that would be great. I really miss you guys. I just want to see your faces, um, and I would love to show you the art show too, but I will take what I can get. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Once again, you can arrange these however you want. Miss you guys. Uh, if you can, tune in tomorrow. It'll be at 1.30. Once again, your teacher should be sending you that Zoom link. If not, um, email me. My email was in yesterday's video. Uh, email me and I will send you the information. Just when you email me, tell me who you are, okay? Because I don't want to give out the information to just random people who aren't my students or parents of my students. So. Let me know who you are when you email me and I will send you the information to the Zoom meeting. Hope to see you then. Bye guys.